Hi, I'm Tim. I'm the PM for the Packer Stage, and today I wanted to highlight some of the issues that we have planned for Milestone 16.11, which will be available for self-managed customers on April 18th, 2024. The first feature I'm excited to talk about is the beta or public preview launch of an integration with Google Artifact Registry. So to start for the initial launch, we'll basically support authentication using IAM roles and workload Identi identity federation. So you can securely push containers from GitLab to your GCP project. You can also view containers that have been pushed to the Google Artifact Registry right from within the GitLab app. So you don't have to jump between applications, less context switching. And you'll also, if you're in the Google Artifact Registry and you, you'll be able to view images that were pushed from GitLab and trace them back to the GitLab Container Registry. Overall, this is a whole new way of deploying containers from the test and build phase to the deployment to, to Google Cloud phase. This is the start of a new set of features and, and one we would love your feedback on. We also have several usability improvements planned. The first one is improved error messages for packages that are having process errors in the UI. So currently, uh, for a variety of formats, we have it's possible for packages to have uh, a status error, but we don't display those in the UI. So this milestone, what we'll do is build on the existing work we did of improving the error tracking and status messages, but now exposing them in the UI. Let me open up a one of the designs here to show an example. Yeah, so we can see here this NuGet package had an error publishing and there's an alert and we have the option to delete it as well. So we really just wanna create more visibility when something went wrong, not just in the logs, but also in the UI. So you can quickly remediate the issue. Another issue we're planning is displaying the last published date for container repositories in the UI. So previously this data wasn't available. The created timestamp is interesting, but a lot of times it's not really the most useful information. The most useful information is knowing when was the last time this uh, image or tag was published. Uh, so starting in this milestone, that data will be available for you. And you'll also in the future be able to sort and filter by that uh, data as well. Couple more uh, usability improvements. So for NuGet, there's you could run NuGet uh, deprecate, which will basically not delist the package. It will still show up in the search results, but it will say that it's deprecated, and it will get, you can provide the users options to say this is why it was deprecated, and here's the alternative package that you should be using instead of this. So this is really great for platform engineers that want to control or remove or deprecate packages that should no longer be used by developers. Finally, uh, this we are working on ensuring that the Terraform, Terraform modules README are included in the API response for, uh, for the Terraform registry. Uh, this milestone will work on that and the subsequent issue will be adding them to the user interface. Okay, that's by no means everything we're working on, but that's some of the highlights and uh, look forward to another great release. And if you have any questions, just hop into the issues. Thank you very much.